Imagine a future where instead of taking bones out of your body for a transplant, you could build your own new bones with the help of a 3D printer. Epibone is a bone reconstruction company using Autodesk software and 3D fabrication to bring this idea closer to reality in a series of relatively simple steps. First, they take a CT scan of the area that needs the bone replacement. The 3D image is used to create a scaffold made of bone tissue from a cow that's been stripped of all its cellular material. Then a small sample of stem cells is taken from your fat tissue. The structure is housed in a bioreactor where it grows for three weeks, after which you could have your own living bone. Where we come in is we say, okay, how do we get the cells to live inside here? And that's not a trivial um, process. So we engineer a system then that goes around it, um, this bioreactor essentially, and you can see that there's um, space for a scaffold to live inside it. Um, so each bioreactor that we engineer is perfectly matched to each of these different shapes that you would have here, right? So we cultivate the bone inside of here with cells and deliver the growth factors and the environmental conditioning that these cells need to then turn that, those materials into bone. Epibone is currently testing its product on cheekbones in research pigs, but with FDA approval, bones could be implanted in clinical trials on humans in the next couple of years and commercially available within six or seven years. The focus now is on smaller bones used in facial reconstruction, but could one day move to larger, more complicated bones. Could you actually grow bones if somebody lost a, a limb? Um, when you think into the far field of where is this going, um, we're just growing bones, mm -hmm. right? Um, what, during my PhD work, I was growing muscle, growing okay. heart tissue. So when you think about a real, like a limb, um, what are the different types of tissues that are involved in a limb. Mm. You've got muscle, you've got bone, you've got skin, you've got nerve, you've got vasculature. And so if you just think about um, what, do the, what do cells need in any of those different microenvironments, it's very difficult to mimic that in the lab. Mm. So the state of the art is moving towards being able to grow two pieces of tissue in the same place, yeah. but you can imagine for a limb it gets exponentially more yeah. difficult. But yes, you could see the world moving in that way, but you can understand why it's a, it's a pretty daunting challenge.